if I had brought those eight zerglings in here instead of splattering them along the pavement, uh, yeah, I might have actually, I might have actually done a lot of damage. I could have taken out that zealot easily, and I would have had this pylon down. He wouldn't have been able to get out any more defenses. Um, most of these probes would have died. I could have taken an immense advantage of that situation, and I don't even know if an immense advantage makes sense. So here he is trying to build a new nexus, but I've are, I've been an expansion ahead of him, which is where you want to be as a zerg uh, for most of the game. So I'm doing okay, I guess. Obviously, I'm playing at a silver level. I'm not doing things very quickly. I'm starting to mass, uh, no, not yet. I want to start to mass some roaches because I want to have a lot of units available once I finally figure out what the hell I'm going to do about all these cannons. I'm really just biding my time until my brain can comprehend what I need to do and still stay on top of the macro and I'm kind of losing track of the macro right now you can see I'm not fully saturated here I don't really have any other unit production uh, tech facilities I'm getting upgrades for my roaches there's no refineries here so or pff, stupid fucking Terrans anyway there's no refineries which aren't refineries they're extractors oh God, I suck. I'm such a noob. Extractors, thank you. So, you know, I finally realize I have them sitting on all this mineral and, and a decent amount of gas just from these few little things. I do have my lair. So I get an evolution chamber. I figure I'll start teching up, and I start getting gas. I'm going to start getting lots of gas. I just saturated this one. I really do need some more drones here. It looks like I finally figured that out, brought some up from this expansion. That's where my rally point was set to, so all of the drones I was making were going down there, and that was useless. They're up here now, good little drones, and I start pooping on my next expansion. I realize, you know, he's got... holy crap, that's a lot of cannons. I don't quite see all <laughs> of these cannons, but I know there are plenty. Uh, so I know he also, I really do know that he doesn't have anything more than this. I remembered that my Zerglings weren't attacked when they were here. I, uh, he did put up more defenses in case I came after me. But look! Look at this! He doesn't have an eye on his blind spot. He, of all people, should know to keep an eye on this blind spot. And I, of all people, should know to take advantage of it. Look at this. I, I, All I need are ventral sacks. All I need are ventral sacks. I could bring in this force and totally own him. He does have a bunch of stargates going up and some cannons, but I really think I could take this out in one swell foop and he would call GG. That's not what happens. No, let's see what's going on here. Okay, I've got uh, missile attacks, so it looks like I'm going ranged. I believe, yep, there's the infestation pit, so... It looks like we're going to go high-tech. Probably some hydralisks here soon. And that, you know, that might help. I'm, I'm at least trying to change up my strategy from the last time I faced off against the Protoss here. And I'm also at least doing a decent job not massing tons of units without a reason. I Let me check on my hatcheries. I think I'm building up a pretty good supply. Yeah, I've got eight uh, larvae here ready to go. I just need to know what to do and why am I only playing on normal? Making me have to talk out my ass just to keep up. Okay, sorry about that. So here we are pooping on this expansion. I guess at this point I was thinking about taking it over. I'm going to speed up a bit because I know from watching it earlier it takes me a while to figure this out. But here I am. Look at this. This is good. I should have done this a long time ago, but 
at least I'm doing it now. I'm just, all I'm doing is checking to see how much of the map he has. At this point, I, I really, going through my mind, I know he can't possibly have anything all that intimidating. I know he's walled himself in here good, he probably feels content with these three bases, so I'm just checking out the rest of the map and claiming and pooping on my territory like crazy, keeping an eye just to see if he takes expansions, and there I go. I know he's, I know I have the map all to myself. Uh, I could use a little more vision here, especially back here where this is totally weak. I, I have the tech coming, I have hydralisks coming, they would totally own these void rays. I would have this game in the bag if I had just known about this. So scouting, definitely one of my biggest fails uh, consistently. Even though I put these here, I looked at them maybe four times through the end of the game. I uh, just completely escapes my mind and that is really, oh look. Look where I was headed. There's the Ultralisk that I was totally hint-spoiling at earlier. But here I am taking this expansion, and I have this huge stockpile of minerals. I really need more gas. If I had uh, if I had just done this a little bit earlier, because I had the Overlords here, I have the Overseer even, just in case, you know, he might, he might send in some Templars. But no, he's just massing void rays. This, with the amount of minerals and gas I have, I could take this on in no time. There's just no chance I could get a... I mean, he's taking his sweet time. I could get all the upgrades, and there'd just be no question. I would have this game. But no, no overlord here. Mm, sad face. So now it looks like he is fortifying even more. Oh, he brought these over. Now, now look at this. I'm just going to back up a couple seconds and switch to my view because you can see I could have caught all of this. I could have known that his void rays were right near my base, protected by this tiny little... well, not so tiny, I guess. That's uh, That's a lot of cannons. So, yeah, still, I really have no idea what to do. I think I do see these... Yeah, I saw the, a few extra cannons going in, so I know this is formidable, but there are my ultralisks. Everyone has to say ultralisks to, uh, you know, feel satisfied in their manliness. Yay, look, I'm injecting good little queenies. Well, pff, speak of the devil. Inject, 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 whatever. Ultralisk power! Unite! Now, these ones look a little damaged. I must have missed my little initial attack up here. I'm sorry about that. I sent a few up here. I lost a few up here. I just masked some more and decided to go in the front door. But look at all those cannons! Oh my god, there's no more Zerglings! Oh, I come in with the Hydralisks, they get taken out by the Void Rays. Oh, so much blood, so many guts, and I just, I called GG. But look, I had absolutely no reason, well, except this huge mass of Void Rays, which... Fester, no, 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 yeah, GG. Very, very bad GG. I, I mean, so many things wrong with that. Look at all of those resources. Look at all of that. I have larva. How many larva? Four. I have nine larva. I could get out some hydralisks. I could, uh, I could have gotten out, I mean, if I had known, if I had only known, I could have gotten out, uh, spore crawlers to fend off any aerial assault, uh, or at least notify me, I mean, something, but at this point, those 12 void rays could come in before I would have anything ready, and it was a good GG, so... Yeah, that was some pretty epic fail. Big disappointment. You know, if I were a pro player in this position right here, 
I probably could have survived. I probably could have kept going be just because of this sheer amount of minerals. If 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 Idra was or Idra was sitting beside me and took over the keyboard, he would have this in the bag. But <laughs> I'm such a noob, and I hope me being a noob helps you stop being a noob. So catch me next time. Same fail time, same fail channel. I stole that from a guy in the forums. Thanks. Night night. <laughs>